Marcus Conti reporting on Trump. Trump is being sued for the border wall. Oh no. 16 states sue Trump over emergency order to fund the border wall. What do you know, Democrats? <laughs> they throw in interference. This is what they do. Right? So obstruct, obstruct, obstruct has begun. Let's, um, let's check out. Let's dive, dive, dive right into this. So here's Trump. Uh, 16 states sue over emergency order to fund the wall. Give me my wall. I want a wall. <laughs> Give me my wall. Why can't he have his wall? Give, him, give the man his wall as the president. Right? Uh, a total of 16 states have joined together in a lawsuit against President Trump's emergency declaration to fund the multi-billion dollar wall across the Mexican border. The lawsuit was filed in, in a federal court in San Francisco and claims that the president does not have power to divert funds because Congress controls spending, according to California Attorney General's office. I'll play the video of the guy. I'll play right now. What the hell? Let's listen to this idiot. Let's bring in Javier Becerra, California's attorney general who is considering a challenge to the president's national emergency in court. Mr. Attorney General, let me ask you, can you say definitely that California will be filing a lawsuit and when that will happen? Martha, definitely and imminently. Yeah, so they, they already did it. They already filed. And, and imminently, Monday, nothing will stop you. No Monday reason. was a holiday. Uh, we are prepared. We knew something like this might happen. And uh, with our sister state partners, we are ready to go. It, it, you know, the president seems to be focusing dry. on a wall so in Texas, not California. Are you confident your state has concrete standing to challenge this? What harm is he doing to California with this declaration? Or will you join other states? How will that work? We're confident there are at least 8 billion ways that we can prove harm. And once we are all clear, all the different states are clear, what pots of money that taxpayers sent to D.C. he's going to raid, which Congress dedicated to different types of services, whether it's uh, emergency uh, response services for whether it's fires or... All right, enough of this guy. So that's the attorney general in California. Who the hell cares, right? So they're, gonna, they're going to prevent Trump from his damn wall, right? Uh, the states which have signed on are all controlled by Democrats, including New York, California, Colorado, Delaware, Maryland, Oregon, and others. So this is, this is the Democrats' idea of, you know, this is uh, electoral politics, right? The wall, right? All the billions of dollars we spend in this country for various things, they can't allocate a couple of bucks for the wall, right? So President Trump treats the rule of law with other con utter contempt, the lawsuit says. Uh, he says he knows there is no border crises. He knows his emergency declaration is unwarranted. And he admits that he will likely lose the case in court. That, there's truth to that. That's what my, I did a video a little while ago about the, um, the declaration of an emergency, right? What is an emergency? Where, where is your evidence that it is an emergency? You cite, uh, Trump cites um, unrealistic statistics, statistics that aren't validated. So in court, uh, especially if you get a democratic, a demo democratically appointed uh, federal judge, they're going to rule against Trump and it'll probably go to the Supreme Court where Trump will win his, his, uh, his right He's within his right to declare a national emergency. So he will win, ultimately. But um, he's going to have to prove it. Right? Now, the, the, the White House attorneys are going to have to come up with a reason. They're going to have to validate their, their emergency, uh, statement on emergency. He added that Trump is willing to manipulate the office of the presidency to engage in, engage in unconst unconstitutional theater performed to convince his audience that he is committed to his beautiful border wall, quote, beautiful border wall. Well, it is a, I mean, most of the people in the country voted, the people that voted, voted for the wall. Trump does not have a, the majority of the people in this country for a border wall. There's no solid evidence that 
more than half of the country wants a wall. More than half of the country that voted maybe wants a wall. Right? So anyway, nonetheless, Trump is going to have some problems there with his, um, with his wall. Right? Right, just a quick story. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, look like um, it doesn't look like it's a smooth transition to free up a couple of billion dollars that Trump is trying to do. Now, the, the money is available, right? And they're going to say, oh, you're taking it from the school kids in Kentucky and you're taking it from the, the, the food stamp program. But that's really not the, not the truth, right? So Trump is within his rights. Uh, in the final analysis, Trump will win. And uh, my name is Marcus Conti reporting. And while you're here, uh, why do, do, do me a favor and, and become a Patreon to this channel so we can move the ball forward and keep real news, keep real news flowing. Thank you.